Hi, this is Trey Kennedy. Trey! Hey, hi! What's up, man? It's Fox and Friends. How are you, sir? I'm great. How are you all doing? Good, good. So you are going to be at the Gloys Thursday, January 11th. Uh, we're so excited. Like, we're all fans in here, but I'm just going to let you know right now, you've got two mega fans. Yeah, I was like, no, Foch. Katie and I are the ones that no, watch I all his yes. videos. I do a, do a whole new level. No way. The women? <laughs> what? <laughs> the moms? I don't know. What a shocker. <laughs> yeah. No, well, I love mom. it. Thanks for being a big fan. I, I love, um, you know, asking comedians this the, fir- the first thing before we get into anything, and that is, how did you get started and why did you want to be a comedian? I, I'm still deciding if I want to. I think sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like, maybe I'm just a psychopath. Why do I keep getting on stage? And no, I'm having a blast. I, I truly never thought I'd be doing this. I, I started making videos on social media yeah. 10 plus years ago, uh, just, you know, before this real big influencer craze thing was even starting, just having fun, you know, it went viral as they say, and fast forward a few years, I had all these followers and uh, I, I have people telling me, you know, people want to come see you. They want to come do a show. I'm like, I don't know. Do I just do a selfie video show? I didn't know what to do. So I <laughs> dove into the live comedy, stand up, all that. And uh, thank God it, it, it wasn't a complete, complete disaster the whole time. There were a few times. But uh, now we're here doing my second nationwide. We, we went international on this tour. And it's been amazing. So I'm very blessed. And uh, second time coming to Springfield. So I'm excited to come back. That's awesome. Well, Katie from Russia has got uh, a couple questions for you. Yes, Trey, I love you so much. I've been watching your videos (laughs) since 2018. I'm also from Russia. So if you hear an accent or you can't understand me, just let me know. You've been around since 2013 on Vines. And I've been watching you for a while now. How do you stay so consistent and not burnt out? Man, I I think it's... (sighs) I, I guess, again, I'm either a psycho or I think I've, I've got a really good team around me. I have editors and videographers and, and people who help me do all this. You know, it was a one-man show for the first handful of years where I'd set up a tripod and just, you know, I'll never forget being on like a date with a girl and to try and explain. This is before I was like a cool comedian, right? It was just like, I was paying the bills, but, but what is this guy doing? I was like, yeah, I just kind of set a, you know, video and do this. She's like, so you just set up a tripod and like move around in front of it. I was like, yeah, this is, <laughs> I need to figure out my life. Um, so I've been very grateful that I've, I've somehow figured out how to adapt to different platforms and, and make different content and keep it fun. So, uh, so far so good. Maybe one day I'll get burned out and I'll, I'll move to Russia and I'll ask you tips. Do Don't do that to yourself. Well, we, we would be concerned for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Trey, all of, I mean, oh my goodness. The the fun thing about your videos is that they're so relatable. I mean, especially, I mean, yes, camera, us, Stanley us Cup. gals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that Tumblr video I have shared to everyone. Like, it's so relatable. It. I never go anywhere without oh, mine. My favorite. And you, you have the Tumblr in a lot of videos. You also have scarves on a lot. Do you have like just a cloth? Closet full of both of them, <laughs> like a prop closet that you you pull them out for because you, you. That's that's absolutely right. We talk about you know evolving. It used to just be my wife's spare clothes. No, I have my own wardrobe <laughs> now. Okay, I got cardigans, I got scarves, whatever you need. So <laughs> yeah, we got a closet and I'm ready to go. Or is it like you try to steal from the girls that you're with? You know, sometimes girls like to tr- take home trophies, like bigger t-shirts or jackets or hoodies from guys. Maybe th- that maybe you're doing that with scarves and Stanleys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I tell my buddy's wives. I'm like, I know she hasn't worn that. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I, I've been paying attention. So you're gonna, is that going to Goodwill? I'd, I'd love it. Do do people ever get mad at you for humor like that? You know, some like women can be super protective over their scarves and Stanley Cups and be like, how dare you make fun of me and my lifestyle? You know, I, I've i been shocked at like, because early on as a kid, I'm making videos. I was nervous to kind of poke fun and make fun of people, you know, but um, I've just found people love it. People, you know, they show up to the show and they're like, make fun of me, you know. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'm doing it in a way that hopefully feels like it's coming from a, from a, a point of love rather than like, I actually hate these people. Because I am trying to buy all those women and it's, it's what I know and love. So it's cool that people want to show up and, and get roasted a little bit. I would say I'm pretty basic. 
and I love them. <laughs> I feel seen. Yeah. And uh, just thank you for that. <laughs> Listen, I'm no better. I mean, I was like, I, I got a cold plunge the other day. I'm a total basic <gasps> pro. I'm a pathetic. Uh, See, so I want a cold plunge. We're all in the same boat. Yeah. yeah. Why am I even doing it? I don't know. But <laughs> we're all basic. It's fine. Yes, we are. <laughs> so is there anybody, I've seen that you do a lot of your videos by yourself. So you do multiple characters, but it's just you in the videos. I don't think I've ever watched a video where you collaborated with someone. Is there anyone that you're planning to collaborate with or would like to collaborate with? collaborate with like Jakob sure Smirnoff? yeah <laughs> yeah there we go I've I've uh I've done a few but you're right they've been few and far between I mean my buddy's like dude dad if you if anyone follows him across social media John Chris um there's been some others but you know I I live in Kansas City so oh. Springfield I'll have some friends and family there and um so I'm kind of here living the dad life in the middle of the country there's you know not a lot of famous people run around here but Whenever I get to L.A. and New York, I'd, I'd like to collaborate with more people, for sure. Uh, since you live in Kansas City, I would like to invite you to my mom's uh, citizenship ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's coming up. That's coming up next wow, week. Yep. Okay. That's yeah. a big, that's a big Olga, party. Olga, for real, Olga is getting certified in Kansas City by the airport, North Kansas City. <laughs> She's getting fact. certified Correct. by the airport? Yes. <laughs> okay. I, I hope the party's there. I fly it out every week, so I'll try to keep an eye out for a big banner. Yep, Olga's just swing by. <laughs> Got it. So Trey Kennedy, we we're talking to him, of course, uh, at the Galois, uh Thursday, January 11th. Uh, there's a couple tickets still. It's it's close to being sold out. It's going fast, so get your tickets while you can. Yeah, yeah. so grab those. Yeah, yeah. TreyKennedy.com for your tickets. Can't wait. So, uh, Trey, real quick, uh, and I know I know you have, like, the social media background, and you started with that, which is the consistently we talk to a lot of influencers on this show. Uh, but comedian-wise, like, when you actually get up on the stage, uh, has there been any kind of influence? It, it doesn't have to be the greatest for everyone but the kind of Mount Rushmore of comedians for you do you have Ooh, those four yeah. comedians that kind of inspired you and they don't have to be the greatest of all time just certain what could be your friends I don't know yeah easy yeah for sure um first two that come to mind easily are Ray Romano and Kevin James uh, I grew up <laughs> watching their sitcoms yeah their comedy I freaking love those guys because so I grew up I grew up in Oklahoma City so very much in this area and I was I wasn't allowed to watch a lot of the comedy like yeah, I was the type of kid they're like I don't think my mom's seen an R-rated movie to this day. She's like, it's <laughs> so, you know, I was all about the clean comedy and, and still am. So those two guys, and I guess why well, I throw a couple guys currently killing it. Um, John Christ, who's been an old buddy of mine, who's helped me along the way. And then okay. Nate Bergassi, who's kind of the, the new big thing that everyone loves. And yeah. he's a, he's just a great clean comedian. Um, so yeah, those four. I'll throw them off there. That's awesome. Uh, really do you like um, Do you like David Schwartzkopf or Fudge? What was the name of the guy you watched on New Year's Eve, the stand-up comedy? Dave Chappelle. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I, I, you've, I'm David sure. I'm sure. Oh God, I'm sure man, Trey has heard of <laughs> Dave Chappelle before. Have you ever heard of Dave Chappelle? I have, before? Dave. <laughs> I have. I've checked out his stuff. I don't know much about him. I think he's <laughs> pretty, pretty popular. <laughs> <laughs> he was an actor in You've Got Mail. That's how I know him. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I know him as David Schwartzkopf. Have you ever? been feared to get canceled for you have um, like some humor in you know political uh sphere and then some like you know white people things so <laughs> sure, no sure, that's sure. a real sure. thing he posts about that he's like people, people in russia hate trey kennedy they, uh, they, that's okay <laughs> um, no i there was i mean at the height of all that there was maybe a tiny fear because it was just so politicized and it it felt, I always stayed away from politics, but it almost felt like this thing you had to comment on, but no, not really. I, that's, I, I go out of my way to try to just be lighthearted and fun and, and not deal with that. But it was weird there a couple of years, but it feels like we're coming out of it. Everyone's chilling until we probably reelect in a few months and yeah, uh, it's insane again, but right, right. until then. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody has to remember that it is comedy, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? It's com- It's comedy for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's different things you got to throw out, like kind of the cartoon version of life. Absolutely. Well, Trey, um, Katie and I, if you need extras ever for your fall videos, it's all (laughs) y'all. Just call us. We would drive to wherever you need us to be. We've got our scarves ready, our Stanleys, uh, our apple cider. So just let us know. We'll be there, okay? Also, if you ever need a Russian actor or a person with a Russian accent, hit me up or my mother, and you're still invited (laughs) to the citizenship 
membership ceremony. I love it. Thank you. I'm wow. honored. What a bonus. Wow. It's, it's one thing that you've probably been waiting your whole career for, I would imagine. <laughs> Absolutely. This is just a dream. Oh, man. Uh, Trey Kennedy, Thursday night at the Galois, January 11th. Uh, TreyKennedy.com, right? Yep. All right, man. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you, man.